EU is now responding to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's request for ammunition by donating a million rounds of U.S. military-grade ammo to defense forces. Garrett Tenney is live from Ammo Inc.'s fa uh, factory in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, with how they are helping Ukraine. Garrett, tell us about it. Sandra, this is a really unique donation. It is not food, blankets, and clothing, and toiletries for those who have fled the country. This is going straight to the men and women who are on the front lines. And the ammo they need the most right now is for the AK-47. It's a little bit bigger than uh, some of this ammunition you see right here. Uh, this is now being sent to the folks over there, a million of these. What does a million rounds of ammunition look like? Well, come over here, let's show you. Each of these crates carries about 60,000 rounds of ammunition. This is obviously a little bit different. This is what you would see on the machine gun of an Apache helicopter on top of a tank. But uh, right now, they shipped 16 of these crates over to Europe where they are now waiting to get final approval before they are allowed into Ukraine. And that is expected in the next few days. The CEO of Ammo Inc. tells us this donation is about the Ukrainians' fight for freedom. I think we, it's been proven by watching TV every day that the uh, Ukrainians are smart people, hardworking people, and I think they want their country to be free. And I think they're fighting to the end, and I think they'll put this ammunition to good use. Yeah, Sandra, more help could be on the way as well. Over the last few days, the company has been flooded with requests from folks across the country who want to make donations for ammunition of their own to help the men and women who just a few weeks ago were just like them and are now fighting a world superpower. Sandra? Uh, hey, Garrett, it's John. I'll jump in here. You know, those, those rounds, I mean, they're not really expensive, but they're not exactly cheap either, somewhere between, you know, 30 and 50 cents per round. So when you look at shipping a million rounds to Ukraine, by the time that you manufacture them and you get them on board transport and get them over there, that's a substantial investment. Is that company shouldering the entire cost or are they asking for donations? Yeah, just for the, the bullets, which again, we'll take you over here and show it to you. It, it, just a bit, a little bit bigger than this. They said just to make these is about six hundred dollars to $700,000. Yeah. Shipping, they went through a private company just to make sure it got over there as quick as possible. They foot all of that bill, and they said they are now, because of the flood of requests they've had from folks, they're trying to look into plans and other opportunities that they could have to make even further donations and get those donations to the folks who need them most as quickly as possible. John? You know, Garrett, uh, Manitowoc, Wisconsin, south of Green Bay, north of Milwaukee, right on Lake Michigan there. As a proud Midwesterner, I know the folks from there are very proud people themselves. It was interesting to hear the company talk about the Ukrainians, something they certainly share. They're very proud, hardworking people. Yeah, and you know, we were just north, uh, we've been across the Midwest this week, and we were north outside of Duluth, Minnesota earlier this week, and every person that we talked to there wanted to do more to help folks in Ukraine. They appreciated everything that's being done. The humanitarian aid is great, but they wanted to have more of an impact as they watch these folks uh, fight for their lives and for their freedom. And uh, this is really unique in the sense that this is very much going to that war effort, and it's something that rather than tax dollars going to pay for that and the munitions that the U.S. has sent over, this is a donation that is going straight from an American company and the folks who work here to the folks that are fighting over in mm. Ukraine. Great story. Great. Uh, Garrett Tenney on that for us. Thank you very much, Garrett.